He's become a little lazy in the beginning. I've seen the, how he, he come in, and uh, look at him. He's uh, really uh, look at his eyes. Look at his eyes. Uh, referee has done the right decision to stop the fight. Otherwise, he will be really, really hurt. And what's this? What's this? It's not. Same move. They learned that outside of the knot. Again. Once again. Again. Once again. Once again. Once again. <laughs> you know, that's pretty amazing because between rounds, Alton Merkerson, Roy Jones' is hand -kicked. Roy was just getting in the mode of having a good time at this stage right here. And as I was saying earlier, this guy was surviving because he wasn't that aggressive. And once he started coming in and committed himself, Roy just took advantage of him, caught him with a nice counter punch. Well, Roy found the trick for knocking him out. He put his hands behind his back. He said, come on. He can't get any better than this. That is the mark of a shot fighter when you can't get off punches. Oh, oh a screw to the ring. Down goes Boba. That's all it took. One shot. He may not get up. Both are stumbling around. Eight, nine. Can he make it? It's over. It's over. Mike Tyson has returned. One right hand. It's a short, chopping right hand. There it is. Right on. You look at the body. He turns his body into this punch. His hips, his shoulders, from the floor up, steps into him, bang. He turned his whole body, his hip, his legs. That man got hit with 230. why they had to make their move quickly and 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 it turns out he was a paper champion one of those champions who took a punch right there that made him an ex-champion he was talking at that time to mayweather left hand hook and mayweather is down and Walter mayweather has been blocked he has been blocked now, just got this to fight is over. All right, all right. All right. Couldn't be more pleased. The guy who came to fight the button as Gil Clancy takes you through it. And there it is, right on the button. That was the first powerful punch that this kid landed in the fight. And Jim, we had mentioned earlier, sometime in the fight, this kid's gonna land a big punch. But I thought it was gonna be 
bring out a, a, a war between these two guys, but all it took was the one punch, and that was it. And I guess Roger Mayweather, when he went back to his corner, said this kid's strong. He could fight Terry Norris. Derek Kelly in 87, Joseph Walker at this one. Oh, oh, look at the right hand. hand. Terry Norris is down, and this might be it. Can he get up? He cannot. He's up. And this cruncher now, he remember he's taking these big punches, but he has the confidence to know that one punch will do it. And here it comes. It's a right hand to the back of the head almost. almost right on the temple, over the ear, right on the temple, very soft spot on the head, you all know. Again, Simon Brown had to have the chin to depend on because he knew it was better. Ruiz fight, he looked to be in the most comfortable place in his career. He was on a roll, he had won seven in a row by knockout, and now, Rex Grimsley with the first punch, and that looks like it over. is it. Why is the referee counting? You don't have to count on that. This fight is over. The referee counted him out. James Thunder, known as a quick starter, but we... Here's what happened. Boom, no, right on the side of the head. The very first punch. You land the first punch in a fight. Don't go out there and mess around. Karak dragging the jab back. Look how relaxed. Grimsley is all to see here for the tenth and final round. I know he doesn't understand that much English, but he understands both. Oh! And again, hit the canvas. That's not good. Okay, here comes the left hook right there on the inside. It was a beautiful inside left hook. I believe Garcia never saw it. Steve, I guarantee you he never saw that. Watch here. He comes up with it, bends, and leaps up into him with a left hook right there. Oh. Everything in it. That was a perfect left hook. That was from the bottom of his feet and his heart. From the bottom of his heart. Wow. He has gone so far as to compare Mosley's style to that of Sugar Ray Robinson, and there's one of the reasons why. Just as the 10 second warning sounded, it seemed that Taylor may have. The ropes. The left hand. There he goes. Bingo. That was it. And you see the devastating power of just that one shot. But his hands are dangerously low for sitting on the ropes with a guy with this much speed like Jones. And bingo. That hurts. That's a good body shot from Jack. And in fact, he comes, gets in right, crosses as well. And Alexander's head is an open target. He's leaving himself up. Gonna regret not taking the initiative a little bit more, but he left his he was the one with the tighter defense, but not here. Look at this. Bang on the chin, couldn't have landed on that more sweet spot, and that's all over. Phil Teddy can make there it goes, and you can see the way the punch landed, the jolt it gave to his chin, unbelievable. What a tough 50-50 match. But uh, I don't think there's a light middleweight in the world, Ian, would take that shot and keep up. Has gotten to him. Marquez was off balance again. Now gets his feet back and tries to roar back to nail Pacquiao with the right hand. Oh! That's another knockdown. He's not getting up, Jim. He's not getting up, Jim. He's not getting up. He's not getting up. No, he's been knocked out. A sensational right hand knockout by a bloodied Juan Manuel Marquez. And that is the keystone moment of his career. If he gets up, he probably wins the fight.